freak, magnum, life changer. I don't care where you fish and what you fish for. Everybody has a fish around home that they chase. It's just a different caliber, a different species. You swear they don't exist. But every once in a while you hear stories. I've only seen a seven pound caliber bass in our area two times. And that was probably eight years ago. I've seen one, but uh, lure flew right out of his mouth. I've seen wow. one in 27 years. You fish all season long, your whole life looking for a fish of this caliber. We have one week to do it. The weather's not looking the best, really cold, really windy, and uh, I think they're saying 10 to 12 inches of snow. And it makes you step back and really think, how far would you go and what would you do to catch the one? All right, we just made it to the second lake. We just dumped Bart in. He like had to go scan some spot. And uh, Brock and myself, we're gonna grill some beans and wieners. Now we're looking at the time and it says three o'clock. And sun goes down at what time? Like 6.37. Yeah, like 6.37. So <laughs> we decided to ixnay the grilling. We rolled on over to another Casey's and we just got a whole feast of food. Talk to me about what's going down here as far as the food goes. Peach is better than yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, really good za. We got a little bit of sausage. We have some cheesy bites. Um, we're just we're really sticking to a diet that'll help kind of bring us through the whole day, keep us really energized. Yeah, and Casey's pizza is definitely the thing to eat for that. So what did we get Bart for for lunch? Nothing. <laughs> um, so we're on a new lake now. Sobe and Brock ran to a gas station quick, and they're cooking up a little bit of food for us right now in the parking lot. I took the time to scan around this lake. It's really small and I'm already done. So I'm gonna cast on a few uh, basically smaller spots I found. To me, I would think they'd be one fish spots. So I'm just gonna make a couple casts and see if I can get something dialed in. Um, but we'll see what happens. Turns out they're already ready, but I'm gonna make a couple casts on this spot real quick while they grab their stuff. No bites, time to go pick up the boys. Welcome back to the Daily Bart's Food Review. Today I'll be reviewing some more Casey's. Uh, these guys so kindly grilled out Casey's for me. It's, ha it's homemade. They did not We did not out. go to Casey's. They were supposed homemade. to grill out and they didn't grill out. On the menu right away, we got you some pizza rolls mixed with potato bites and then a chicken sandwich. The chicken sammy looks pretty good. They do, it, it's like nice, it's grilled. Yeah, they're very average. <laughs> very cold. Uh, the potato bites. Also very cold. Would you say they're lacking flavor or just heat? They're lacking heat. All right, try the chicken sandwich now. You gotta review it, a proper review. The flavor's there, but it's probably below average for Mike Casey's meals. Taking into factor that it's cold, you know, take that out of it. Um, I'd still give it like a four and a half. <laughs> pretty pretty <laughs> not great Casey's, but we'll make it work. I do have a Snickers, so I'm pretty hyped about that. Sponsor us Snickers, please. And that's your daily installation of Bart's Food Review. All right. Adam's chowing down on a little lunch. Uh, we made ourselves. Like I said, we did not buy it at Casey's. We made those pizza rolls on the grill. And, and um, yeah, he's just munch munching on that. And we're gonna kind of fish some shallow pads. Looks like kind of a little rock point that comes out and there's pads all around them. I'm gonna just spinner bug them. Rock's gonna throw a booty shaker, swim bait, something a little different. This looks sick.
There you go, fish on. On the spinner bug. Good one? I don't know. Kind of feels good, dude. Get the net? Yeah, we'll see what we got here. Not a big one. It's a bass. Spinner bug. Dun, 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 dun. That bass is cold, dude. There we go. Oh, Brock's got a good one, bro. Easy release. There you go, there's a fish. Chunky. Chunky monkey. We ain't going for no two pounders, yo. Here's the thing, big ones eat a spinner plug. Check this little patch back here and then maybe boogie. Still plenty deep back here though, still like two seven. Yeah. It's still deep. Fish on. Yeah. On the booty shaker. Crushed it. Just a little dog. Wow, look at that. A lot of heart. You gave it a good guala. Straight braid, too. That makes me kind of pumped now. Yeah. I like this little right side here. Probably there's not like a little three pounder back here, like a nice chunky three. It seemed like they showed themselves though, and when... yeah. I mean they're only little ones, but still. Couple, couple bass, no big ones. Can you just me water, Mr. Twister? Over. No. Sure, Adam, get yourself where you think. Uh, I think we should literally just like whip a 180 and chuck baits up onto mm -hmm. it from the back of the boat because it's freaking. It's not very wide. Are we on it? Okay. Oh, I f***ing just missed one, dude. Holy I got snagged. First time. You know how like sometimes you get snagged and you can like feel it kind of moving? Yeah. That's what I got going on right now. Yeah. I'm just shaking them off right now. I don't want to catch one yet. That's for tomorrow. You got to keep drama, right? <laughs> Can't catch it today. We might not be getting this one back. Oh, come on. We got her. They just gotta eat it. Yep, yeah. Jig? It is. Good sign though. We got a bass. That's a bass. I think every fish we've caught on this lake has been this size so far. It's a bass. I think you just gotta get lucky. Which most people do to catch a right. seven pounder. <laughs> God, this rock feels awesome. Oop. Good one? Nope. Same thing. <laughs> All right, well, there's a little guy. There was a 0% chance today, you know that? Yay for Minnesota fall. <gasps> this is brutal. Putting the GoPros away. How are you feeling? I'm bummed. I want to catch a big one here. I know, me too. We just caught like pound and a half. Or just, it's going great. Hello. What's words of wisdom? Uh, words of wisdom. Catching fish isn't hard. Catching big ones is. Facts. <sighs> Current time check. It is six o'clock. Um, I don't know exactly everything you guys have seen. The weather has been changing like every 20 minutes the wind will pick up then it'll die then it'll rain then it'll sleet then it'll snow then it'll get really really windy and um then it'll just start to rain again so <sighs> this lake kind of kicked our butt uh we knew we'd have to battle the conditions obviously with seven days at the end of october um the weather's all over the place it's unpredictable but tomorrow's a new day and we're going to a very special lake tomorrow for now let's pop out of here Head back to home, get regrouped, probably grill out tonight, get a good night's rest. And um, yeah, let's, let's get ready for battle tomorrow.
everything. Dude, what's these two boxes? Morning. How are we feeling? Tired. We're exhausted. Uh, it's day three. It is very cold. Um, it's like it's like winter is set in up here, basically. Catching largemouth right now is really difficult, I think. What's it outside today, right now, Sam? 28 degrees? Yeah, at least. 26, yeah. 27. 26, 27 degrees. High today is like 39. So, um, it is winter, and yeah, I'm cold. Catching fish isn't hard. Catching big ones is. Today is a better day, I feel like. I Like... You aren't matching me today. Yeah, no, better better vibes across the boat probably. <laughs> no one's matching anybody today, yeah. so we're, we're... We made sure we really <laughs> spread it across the board today. Shout out to North Dakota State University, one of the best universities in the nation. I never when you went there. <laughs> day three, feels like day 3000, <laughs> but we're ready to get it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get a freaking job. And welcome back to this installment of Bart's Food Reviews. Whoa, Jesus, getting that in my face. I'm um, doing something a little different. Obviously, we're at Casey's again. However, my expectations are very high for this one because it's brand new Casey's in the middle of absolutely nowhere, small town Minnesota, so you know it's a good one. Today, we got bacon breakfast pizza. And uh, as you can see, I've already crushed a decent amount of it. It's been a good morning for breakfast, uh, but yeah. Dude, I'm about to go do a food coma. I'm so, I'm so tired. It's good pizza. This one's better than the first one. We'll give this Casey's, we're gonna give like an, probably, an, oh, and I had a donut from there earlier too. You didn't see that. That donut was really good. They're getting like an 8.7. Those are really good Casey's. An 8.7? That's not bad. Thank you, Casey's. And that was your installment of Bard's Food Reviews. Now back to your paid programming. All right. Here we are, lake number one. I think today we're actually just gonna stay all day at one lake, uh, kind of putting our eggs in one basket. There's a lot of history on this body of water, uh, especially with Fart Fart. This is where he got his PB. This is where he's caught giants. Uh, this is where it really went down last year. This lake right here, we um, we got closest to our goal. Uh, Adam caught a 656, yeah? Yeah, I got a 656, and then I've come here for fun and caught a 65. Um, and a lot of upper fives. This lake's special. Like, I call this place the land of the giants. This is maybe our highest shot this whole trip at getting a legit seven pound largemouth. So, uh, depending upon weather, I don't know if we're gonna kinda stay in the lower half of Minnesota a little bit longer. I don't know if it's gonna freeze up north, or maybe we'll just full send it all the way up north after we fish this lake. Um, we'll probably just play it by ear. This whole trip is just kinda playing it by ear. So, yeah, really quick, let me show you. We are blessed to have good gear when it's 30 degrees, it's blowing 15. I got a Blackfish Gale hoodie on. I got soft shell bibs. These suckers are freaking warm. I would never, ever, ever, ever wear this gear in the summertime, but in the fall and the spring, this is a freaking must. So we've got good gear. We've got a lake that has seven pound bass in it. All we need to do is go out and catch them now. So let's get it. We're just finishing up, rigging up a couple baits, but just a reminder for you guys, uh, if you wanna get anything that's a part of this series, like some lure lock boxes, uh, check the links in the description below. There's a ton of different promo codes and such to check out any of the wonderful companies that helped us. So we're gonna go get out on the water and try to catch a freaking and seven pound. All right. All right, all right, all right. Current time check, it is 10 o'clock. This is a little bit of ways from the house, so it's not like we're getting a late start. We actually left pretty early. Um, and we're just gonna start throwing reaction baits right away. Keep the baits moving. Throwing a little grass flat here. Adam's throwing a white chatter bait. Notoriously, he's caught big fish on a white chatter bait out here. But, notoriously, I'm the best spinner plugger in the game. Let's get it all. Dude, my heart is pounding through my chest right now. I just know what's, I know what lives on this flat. I don't know why it's always right here. Still haven't figured that part out. 
I'm gonna turn and take us down. Oh my god, I got pummeled. Hit it again. Yeah, just got whacked. It's too cold up here. It's 48.8 further up. I'm gonna go back out because it's warmer water. Maybe they're sitting a little deeper than they normally are. Alrighty guys, area number two. We fished that whole grass flat, no luck. We're gonna kind of push off now, go to a little bit more offshore structure. Um, just kind of some fallen logs, some brush piles. Uh, Brock and myself are gonna hit this one. And then I think Adam and Brock are gonna go way down the lake and hit a few more offshore brush piles that uh, Adam found earlier in the year out here. So maybe they're not shallow, maybe they're deep. gotta be hitting it dude like right there oh oh yeah got one oh oh come on what seed to i'm out no maybe not yeah out you found it where's it at not far i like that all right all right, that's exciting. There we go. Oh, that f***ing hurt so bad. I got. I guarantee I'm gonna have a bruise right here. Yeah, I'm in it. No, I just like underneath my armpit for a lot low to the rod into it. Get off that leaf. There we go. I was cleaning ice out of my rod tip and it got all tangled around the tip. Um, it is 12:20 now. We have yet to have a bite, which is. A little concerning, but I mean, it's super cold out. It's probably still only like 34 degrees. Um, we've kind of gone away from fishing deeper and are trying some shallow trees, but I guess the one positive about this series is we're looking for one fish. We're not looking for a lot of fish. So we're just hoping we can stumble into a real dumb big one. And uh, I don't know how it'll happen, but we're gonna try to make it happen. So it is fall, it is cold. But uh, bass should be putting the feed bags on them. For what I know, they should be up shallow and uh, they should be eating moving bait. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try it out. Hopefully we'll get bit. I guess it's a good thing there's braids there. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. yeah I want to grab the camera. <laughs> 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 well, I miss his butters It's these damn gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I knew that. <laughs> Update. Yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. Mmm, warms the bones, soothes the soul, and hopefully coaxes in just a bass. Uh, at this point, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. We have fished a large majority of this lake. And we have <laughs> done nothing but swing at air. We have zero bites, we have zero fish. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. We're we're literally just going bassing. Uh, we don't have a plan. I don't have anything technical to tell you like, oh, we're gonna be pushing out on this weed flat because the barometric pressure of the earth, the way it turns to the left in the moon phase, told us to do, no, no, no. We don't know what we're doing anymore. Uh, we're just bassing, having a good one, enjoying some coffee. So stick with you, stay tuned. You might be pissed. <laughs> if we got a spinner bait, a T-rig, and a jig ripping, we can't get something by the bank, then they just hang out on the bank. Especially on a bank where like, you pretty routinely can go down there. Yeah. Some uh, fish. Two, three That's what I'm saying, which is scary. We haven't even got a two pounder or a 12 incher. Update. Bart is officially off lake selection duty. <laughs> Why is that? We didn't catch a fish. Not one. <laughs> I think I got a bite a little bit ago. Roll the clip. Brock's got the best theories, I love it. Why are there always big bass next to fishing piers? There's always four inch bluegills there. 
And that was this week's installment of Brock's Fishing Tips. <laughs> oh, I got slaughtered. Nah. -uh. Yeah, knocked straight slack in it. <laughs> you guys decide. <laughs> yeah, you guys decide for yourself. Comment below, was it a bite or not? So what are, <laughs> what are we gonna go do now? <laughs> we're gonna go try to figure out what the heck we're gonna do. Uh, it was super cold today. Tomorrow it's supposed to be super cold. I think it's supposed to like snow and sleet. So the weather isn't getting any better. It is wonderful. So <laughs> we're gonna try to figure out how to get a giant RG for you guys, and we're gonna we're gonna die trying. So uh, today was brutal. It was really brutal. <sighs> um, to make positive out of negative is what we're gonna do here uh we know this lake has giant fish in it the fact that we didn't catch one today was um extremely confusing but when you reach a certain point of failure you almost just kind of laugh it off and say honest to god there is nowhere else to go but up from here like today was horrible absolutely terrible and um i know tomorrow will be better i for a fact tomorrow will be better we hope so uh, yeah, we're gonna go back now, definitely regroup, get some dinner, get a good night's rest. So, see you back at the cabin. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new lake. We are at a new lake. Trying something new, it's really cold, about to snow. For this lake, um, there's a few rock piles, a lot of shallow cover, a lot of trees couple areas with pads but other than that it's nothing special water is super clear though oh wait hooked up hooked up hooked up this is a really big fish really yeah i see now oh my god good one it's heavy dude it's, it's a good heavy. one it's a good one really heavy it's coming up coming up oh my god get the net get the net get the net get the net, get the net. What you doing sitting out on a rock pile? That's a good one. <sighs> nice little pike. Not what we want. Sure as hell felt like a seven pounder, but uh, no. Wrong species. Let's get him back. See ya. Whoop. 